can't think of a more fitting place to do my new bike reveal. The bike that I bought while I sort out all the problems that I have with my on the cold wing. And I do have views on the cold wing, but I'm going to say that for another video because it is complicated um, what's happening with between me and Honda. And it's good news and bad news. However, here we are on the road to Apple Cross. And here we have then the bike itself. So this is a BMW 1250 GS Adventure. It is four years old. Well, it'll be four years old in July. It has 5,000 miles on the clock. And <coughs> whoever had it before me, <coughs> well, they bought everything. Uh, this could be fun. They got everything going, and so it has every toy, bell, whistle, everything you could possibly want to imagine um, going. So, why a GS? Because I have been pretty critical of. Oops, he went down. Pretty critical of BMW in the past. Firstly, I tried a few bikes. I tried the R18. I tried the R12, I tried the R12 19. Um, all didn't really get on with any of them. But one of the problems with those is they just don't they don't have fuel gauges. While I was trying the R12, I saw this. Um, so this was within my budget, which was quite limited. Um, BMW bike. It, I got two years warranty full service, 12 months tax, new tyres and a t-shirt um, and so this is it. So um, I'm kind of done with new bikes and this is a bit of an experiment. Can I get one that's um, a bit older, someone else has gone through all the trouble. I know for instance on this one that the head cases have been changed because of corrosion. Um, this is the bike and I've, I've done about 80 miles in it today. Uh, I have had two GSs before, never had a GSA before. That's a different riding position for from the gold wing. The first thing I notice between the two is how much better the suspension is. Um, the gold wing can be back jarring with some of the real bumps there are, potholes. Um, whereas this just seems to soak them up a lot more. I've only ridden it in um, road mode, I'm just getting used to it. Well, I'm used to its weight and balance, and, <coughs> and then I'll ride it more in dynamic. But uh, so far, so good. A couple of things to do. Um, it didn't come with the boxes, which is not a problem because I don't like them anyway. So all this scaffold is going to come off and I'm just going to use soft luggage. This is a uh, Rhino bag. I got it off uh, Amazon. Uh, all my stuff's getting quite old. So I bought this off Amazon. It's about £30 pounds for 30 litres. It's huge. But that's worth the wi -Fi. And it also didn't come with a sat nav. No surprise there. <laughs> but in fact, I don't want this. And I'm going to have a chicken unit. And then with that chicken unit, I can have my Google Maps ways, different ones, um, for doing the longer journeys that I want to do. So I'll post a video about that at some point. But this is the new bike, and um, I'll update you about the Honda at some other point. Take care. Bye.